simplify the expression ln of e to the x. So the answer here is just x. This is a formula and you're supposed to memorize it. So I'm going to explain why uh, this formula is true in this video. So first let's define a function uh, f of x and we'll say that's equal to the natural log of x and we'll define g of x to be equal to e to the x. And these are inverse functions. That means they undo each other when you compose them. So in other words, if you look at f of g of x, well, g does something to x and f undoes it because it's the inverse function. So it's kind of like they cancel, so you just get x. Well, what is g of x? It's e to the x, so this is f of e to the x, and this is equal to x. So f is the natural log of x. So f of e to the x is just the natural log of e to the x, and that's equal to x. So we've justified the formula. So it's because they're inverse, inverse functions. You can think of them as canceling each other out. This cancels and you get x. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.